welcome back to Cottail Wildcraft. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this ladybug, the ladybug. Let's get started. So the materials you will need are some clay. I have colored the pre-colored these, so this one's more of a dullish color. You could get this by using yellow acrylic paints, and this is a more chocolate color, which you can get using brown acrylic paints and black acrylic paints. As for the tools. You're going to need this needle tool slash petal blender, I guess. It's pretty good at blending. And for my cutter, I will be using this sort of wooden dowel and... Cuts pretty well. So now what you want to do is you want to take the dough ball of clay and slightly flat it out like that. You don't want to flat it out too much, otherwise it's not going to look as good. So now what you want to do next is you want to take this paddle tool and cut this part. This is going to be for the legs. And we're just going to take this and slightly flatten this leg out. And now I'm going to cut it again they're a bit too big so now let's just attach it also a cool fact about ladybugs is that you can tell how how much they have aged de depending on how many spots there is for example if the like this one um says there's less spots it's a new one and if there's more spots, then that must mean it's an old one. So, let me just finish this. And technically, if you want a helper, um, you can use this if you want to fly it out. Although, I don't choose to do that, considering it doesn't look as symmetrical and good as flying it out with your finger. And the, and the reason you should use a needle is because it's pretty good at blending. So, you also want to slightly blend these so it looks like it's standing. So now I'm going to take another piece of clay, roll it out. Sometimes I like to use my hands for this. And roll it in the air. I'll cut this out, and press it. For the back bead, you sort of want to press the clay onto this, and it takes some water, and I'm going to put this on my hands, and sort of smoothen this out. There we go. And now we want to take another one. That same pair. And also another thing about ladybugs is that another thing about this clay piece is that I was originally gonna like I was gonna originally make this up to a to a another animal, but I thought ladybugs would be a pretty good idea considering I haven't made one out of clay. And So now what you want to do is you want to take a ball of clay and use your, palm, use your fingers to flatten it out into the wings. So now you want to take this and decide which part you want to be the front. And that part and attach the wings on. If you're having trouble with this part, use some water to help you out. And repeat the same step again with the other wing. And if they seem a bit crooked, you can always reset the clay. And sort of rip off a few pieces. Piece. 
a piece of it. So, there is the other piece. So now what you want to do is you want to take a tiny piece of this black clay and make tiny balls and attach them to the ladybug. And depending on the size, you can make them either smaller or bigger. And I'm going to add a lot, so it's like an old one. Fun fact, these sort of remind me of chocolate chips and chocolate chip cookies. And I'm just going to add a few more to this mix. Also, it may take you a while to get this color, but you can, to help you for a tip, here's a tip. Um, what you want to do is take a piece of clay, make a, like a, ho a hole in it, and add some water with the acrylic paints. That should help it mix better and you'll get the color. So now what you want to do is, it's you want to form its head. It's sort of circleish, but it's also a slight oval. So normally how I blend my pieces is I take them and sort of blend them into the clay. And it's kind of hard on camera, so I'll do my best. And if they sort of don't look right, you can use water to help you fix that. And if there's some cracks like that, you can always fix them as well. So for the teeth, you, what you want to do is you want to pinch some long clay and you want to also slightly bend it like this. And, and to help you stabilize this a bit, you can use, an, you can use your hand, your finger. And if you want, you can also adjust this. So now take the other one and repeat. Now if the head sort of... Now, it doesn't really, now make sure to put the head on the bottom and not too much at the top. Otherwise, it's going to look more like a turtle than a ladybug. And, and of course, make sure to bend this. And, and just make sure it's in there. Of course, you could also fix the shape. And it's done! Now your ladybug is done. If you want, you can add details with eyes, with a marker, or anything else if you want to glaze it as well. Bye, guys! Stay crafty, everyone!